presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Ben in San Jose. Ben, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. How you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I just wanted to thank you and your team and everything. I've been using your technique with the 10-minute charts, watching the VIX, and uh, just making a fortune here on the futures. Isn't it interesting? Interesting. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's wonderful. Thanks, Tom. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks. Whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great Memorial Day weekend, a nice, safe one, too. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about taking action. It is not about attaining knowledge. I don't see else. <laughs> <coughs> Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 13, NASDAQ up 158, SP's up 29. Gold, gold contract down $2.60, trading to 2005, 2,356 an ounce. We had silver up 7 cents, $30.52 an ounce. Light sweet crude off, no, up 97 cents. That's weird. What is it? Anyway, $77.83 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note up one tick, trading 108.24. 30-year up four at 116.30 in King Dollar. Check it out. King Dollar right now trading up 455 ticks. This all again. 104.729, Euro 108, Yen 155 British pound 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. Okay, so we're going to go to the futures first because you had a long weekend. You goose the market, but guess what? <laughs> you get a three day weekend, and we'll find out who wants to go home long. Neutral or shot. And we just had the first. So if we take a look at this market out here today, right? You know, you had you had good action right at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, bottom line, futures go up with volume. Even the almost right up to the high. At the high, the first high, you had light volume. So what had happened, we, we're going sideways from 10 past 11 this morning. And then you can see coming all the way across... There's no volume whatsoever. Now, they just let loose on the market, meaning this 10-minute buy has 43,000 contracts, okay? So that's telling me that, number one, it, was, it got under the 5,000 contracts that we had at 43,15. I mean, 53,15. So it came into that buy with good contract volume. That says what's game is the next bar going down, which is the 5309. And we'll see how they handle the 5309. There's pretty good support at that 5309. That's inside your ES. We go to the Qs, I mean the NQs. We do the same type of exercise. And the difference with the NQs, the NQs look to me like... Uh, you have game at actually 18,800. Now, that'd be 59 down from where we are right now. We're at 163, and the NDX is at 18,859. Because the, that bar is much closer. You can see how this shakes out right here. That's the bar it's going to go after. 
Dala, this is a big one now because the correlation is pretty direct. Yeah, the dollar. Let's just write that. The dollar poked its head up yesterday, got up to the 105, 113, did 105, 111, 119 today, then gave it up. Now, it's still close, but bottom line, that higher range is a big deal, and you're not in it. Let's go take a look at Nike for uh, one of our tigers. His 14-year-old son's looking to buy Nike. Now, he's going to have to wait a while because... Nike's at 60, 91, and the buy is like, well, I'll give it two different buys, but it's way down there. It's like another 30% lower. Okay, so your first, it's two different ways of looking at it, not, not looking at it, of doing this. Okay, so you got a, you got a heavy swing point, low swing point at 88.66, and right now we're at 91.86. So 88.66 you're going to want to watch the volume there in a monster way. The volume there on the uh, weekly is 75 million. Larger still, though, I think what Nike's going to do, the bottom of the consolidation is 82.50. That's a high volume low. Now, let me put this on a monthly for a second. Okay. Yeah, that's the buy. The buy's down here, man. The reason I'm saying this, because you know what this has, man, which is pretty intense? This has, still has March 20th on it, which, you know, there's so many stocks that already hit this, man. That's a high volume low, too. Now, what can happen with, see, that'd go halfway into the bar. Yeah, so just at this point, keep, you know, keep your eye on those numbers because the high volume low is at 60 bucks, man. And guess what? It can hit 60 bucks. That's the bottom line. I mean, you know, Nike's almost... Uh, well, Nike, to me, is really pretty surprising that it's down this far, actually, you know. But the bottom line is that um, that's what companies do, man. The bottom line is that, you know, being public, you got to continually press, press, press. That's to be better, better, better. So we take a look at the silver market. Let's go to silver. This is setting up nice. So isn't gold, by the way, folks, Okay. I'll do the gold market too, but they, they, we needed them to pull back below the last two days because the volume was high. So silver did the same thing. It got pulled, well, silver's going into its strength, which had 133,000 contracts. It's only done 52. It got under the lows of yesterday, has tremendously light of volume, and that's exactly what you need in order to get higher price. We go to the gold contract. We do the same type of exercise inside the gold contract. You're going to see the same deal. And the equities have already performed the same way, too. You can see this. Gold's going against strength. Get this up. Oof. Yep. You can see yesterday, you know, yesterday we did, yeah, 64,000. You're only at 44,000. And you did reject lower price. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. 
But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So Dow, Dow Industrials down 10, Nasdaq's up uh, 159, S&P's up 29. Let's go to our man, Jose, in Lakeland. What's going on, Jose? Good afternoon, Tom. It's casual Friday. Just wanted to buzz it. It's good to see you back in the big boy chair. Thank you. It's good to be here. Yep. It's always good to be yeah. here. It's always uh, good to hear your voice. From Quaint Village of Car on uh, Interstate 4. It's uh, a parking lot out here, as usual. Um, Hey Tom, let me get let me get your opinion on the real estate market, or better yet, uh, tell me the mindset of the home buyer today. They won't touch a seven percent mortgage rate, uh, but they're going to wait for you know five and a half, six percent in the year, beginning of next year, when home prices take off. Isn't it a wash? Aren't they in the same boat? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, listen, it, it's a great statement, and the, I would agree with you. They're in the same boat. The, the perception in the problem, however, is that, well, maybe, I mean, you know, the longer this stays at 7%, the more that the real estate market's going to get squeezed, particularly, you know, us in Florida, Jose, okay? Because the way that I kind of operate, no, the way I do operate, <laughs> anything that I'm going to try to sell, I always try to sell between November and Mother's Day. Because what happens oh. down here, folks, is that the, everything empties out. In this particular year here, we really emptied out. I was just saying the best fit upstairs. I says, man, I haven't seen this place so empty in a long time. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah. So what happens is that there's less people. If the prices and the prices have been flat and you can see the prices have been going down, um, you know, <laughs> it's it's a problem. It's a, the, well, the rates well, are. Uh, they, they, they're saying real uh, April was a big month, 6.2 percent increase in home prices. Biggest. I know. Oil. But that's that to me, that's B.S. Because. Yeah. What, okay. Yeah. Right. I mean, you know, like us, us being in the market, we know, Jose, like if you're trying to buy or sell a stock, right, you know, you can do it, right? There's no market. You know, they, they keep saying, oh, it's a frozen market. Well, it's a frozen market because the prices are too high, right? People don't want too much money. Um, you know, now, we know how much it costs to build, and it's wicked expensive, folks, okay? So there's going to be, I don't see a, a big hit here, okay? But you still, you have the stagnation because of the rate, and the prices. I mean, what happens, you know, it seems like you can't buy anything, 
you know, less than 500000 to live in, 400000 whatever. Do you know what I mean? And for Florida folks, that's a lot of money. That's the bottom line. Um, yeah. You know, so is, we'll is see. Is it a what, wise person that throws anything up on the MLS right now, or is it a waste of time? Is this a bad time right now? That bad? I, 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 uh, the Federal Reserve, February 3rd, uh, excuse me, May 13th came out and said that delinquencies on car and truck loans and credit card delinquencies are getting really ugly out there. They're at all-time highs. Yeah, well, I think, I mean, like anything else, people get over their head. No, I would put, if you have something that's out there and you think you're putting a fair price on it, no, I'd put it up. I would, I would put it up. It's just going to take a lot more selling. And you're going to be able to tell right away. Like, normally, if you don't get, you know, some real action within 15 days, then you're just going to say, hey, man, take it down. You got to wait it out three or four months or five months or rent the place for another year. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah, because the rents, the rents haven't gone down. I just rented right. a couple places and I got big money for them. Do you know what I mean? But yep. that, that same, well, I'll give, you, I'll give you exactly what happened. So what happened, I was trying to move this one place out. Now, this was a house that I bought, did over. I've already rented it for three or four years. I decided I wanted to sell it, and I put uh, five ninety-five on it, and I was I was doing a three-two-one buy down, and nice nice pad too, and and it was on the forty-three hundred block in St. Pete, and right on the main thing. So that's that's not bad, folks. Okay, but the bottom line is that it didn't work. So I ripped it off again. I put it for rent and rented it the first day, and I got a big rent. So it's like, wow. okay, I'll wait wow. another year. You know what I mean? Well, Where yeah, you, 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 You're not afraid of renters destroying a place if you got new construction? You're not afraid of... No, you know what? I get, I get first, loss and security. So before they're walking in, they're giving me like twelve to 15000 You know what I mean? Yeah, correct. So, correct. But uh, yeah. uh, they got no skin in the game, and uh, they tend to ruin things. But uh, okay, all right, uh... We get yeah. a while to wait, man. We need, we need the rates to back down. The thing that's crazy, which you brought up, and this is wild, folks, is that it does get that much busier when, like, the, our phone, you know, we, we did good over the winter, okay? But it was really a close call. It was, it was those couple little dips that people could get a mortgage at 6% that it went, and then all of a sudden it went back up again. Phone doesn't ring. It goes back to, you know what I mean? So our phone hasn't been ringing now for... At least two months. At least two months. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll take it under advisement. I just threw something up uh, a week ago. I haven't, haven't got an email or a phone call, nothing. <laughs> up in Spring Hill. Which, which is, is beautiful. You know, Spring Hill's growing like crazy, man. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, a, that's a nice area, man. I love, I love that area. That, I mean, you're right next to Crystal River, where this is, folks, okay? Crystal River, if you've never seen it, Three Kings, this is where all the manatees are. This is where the nature coast is. It's, yeah. You'll get, you'll get yep. you know what? You just got to, all of us in Florida got to wait it out till it, the fall. It starts again, like at the end of September. As soon as the weather comes yep. again, it starts again and accelerates up until Mother's Day. That's, the, the scale is just like this, all the way up. And then, and then you fucking, oh, oh geez. Then, then you jump off the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, well, that, that gives me some hope. Uh, without hope, forget it. <laughs> Listen, man, you have a great Memorial Day. Have a great weekend, man. You, you too, thank you. Okay, thanks, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. The cool thing here, folks, is that when you say that, it, it's nice being in the marketplace and in the real estate business because what happens is that, you know, you have the factual being out in the street. Then you have watching all the home builders, watching Mohawk, watching the suppliers, right? And, you know, if I go to the home builders, right, they're up there at highs. And the reason they're at highs, folks, is that, you know, the builders themselves, you can give more incentives. And what has happened is that people want new homes, number one. And them being at highs is encouraging because I can tell you, when we really scored, when I did the fund and all that, the bottom line is that, you know, that was a timing of 
the market also, and all those stocks are at lows. They're at highs now. You know what I mean? And we'll see where the people come up with the money, but, you know, people need a place to live. That's the bottom line. So we'll see how this shakes out going forward. My, my take is that we're still, we're not going to go up in rates. The real question is, when are we going to go down? Dow. Dow's down six. NASDAQ's up 169. S&P's up 31. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Tiger, you've seen his show, you've learned from his webinars, and now it's time to trade side-by-side -side with him. Join Larry Pesavento for the second month of his new service, Live Trading Fridays. Hosted in the Tiger's Den trading room on Discord, Larry has analyzed a number of commodities and indices, placed profitable trades, and explained his method. Whether you're new to trading or are a seasoned market veteran, trading side-by-side -side with a titan like Larry Pesavento will only enhance your game. Utilizing Fibonacci retracements and ABCD structures, Larry provides decades of insight into when to place trades, when to exit, when to ignore, and so much more. Learning is doing. So if you're serious about learning technical analysis and becoming profitable in this uncertain market, Live Trading Fridays is a must-have tool in your arsenal. Live Trading Fridays occur every second and fourth Friday of the month, so trading events for this month are May 10th and 24th. If you're serious about trading, we'll see you there. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tom O'Brien Show is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow is down 10. Nasdaq's up 166. S&Ps are up uh, 31. And let's go uh, into the GDX. Take a look at the GDX. This is going to be a good setup, too. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Look at that. Okay. 
So you're coming back into strength. The problem is, which I never can, I can't stand this when it happens, especially if you're a bull. You know, we came down with volume. Yesterday, 32 million. The day before, 37. And we popped today with 8 million. That's like, now the weekly's not going to be bad looking, I suspect. Now the weekly's no good either. But that's, okay, so this is going to contract more. What is that price there? 33.09. Yeah, 33.09 is game. Right there. What we did do, let's see, 128 million. Nope, didn't do it. So it took out, it took out, yeah, it took out the highs. This is going to be a trip. Took out the highs, didn't have the volume. Failed on price and volume. The high I'm talking about is the high going all the way back to the uh, 5th of May. <coughs> so what is going to be interesting here is that when I'm on with Tim, is that that Bollinger Band in the middle, okay, is going to be, have a problem now because we're right at it. And if we pull back just a bit, that means that we're going to be waiting another month or two, meaning because that the signal the monster signal on the monthly, you know, we only have one more week. And unless one of these days next week we got something that's uh, like the, the silver market did, that is saying that it's not going to make it at this particular point. Um, on the longer basis, it, it'll, it'll make it. I mean, that's how this thing's shaking out. Uh, you're, you're hearing more. What, what's so intriguing is that gold is up so high and you're still, I mean, I, I listen to Bloomberg a lot. Uh, I don't listen to CNBC at all. But on Bloomberg, you know, now they're starting to, to talk gold and say, okay, why is it up so much? And, you know, the bottom line, and <laughs> you, between central banks and, um, you know, geopolitical problems, and then the sanctions. The sanctions, the combination does the deal that gold is liquid, cash out in a second, and you can't trace it. You know, the kind of tracing is a monster deal. There's no doubt about that. And then forget the, the amount of countries that just destroy their currency. So then you have the people in the countries that, you know, saying, okay, man, I want this gold. I want it in my pocket. And that's where the aspect of physical gold has been driving this market. And to me, physical gold driving the market is more bullish than the ETF structure. The reason being is that I suspect like every other market, folks, okay, the, the whole crowd, including, it's just not the, the retail crowd either. It's the professionals that have funds. They always, they're always buying at highs. I mean, there's plenty of them to buy not at highs, okay? But there's, the majority is at highs. So at some point, this ETF structure inside of the metals market will also start coming back. You know, it, the, the prices are up there, but the amount of funds that are actually going into the ETF structures in the metals is not big. It's contracted now for, uh, my God, it's been contracting about five or six years now. So, long time. Long time it's been contracting. Let's go take a look at good old NVIDIA. And Dell's been getting on the whole NVIDIA bandwagon, too. Now, now see, what's the, the NVIDIA deal. So, now what's going on is this. So, check this out. And these normally come in threes. And you get a reference, we'll remember this the next time they come out with their numbers. So, we have the gap. First, you have the first gap from the, the last... Uh, not the prior numbers coming out. That was in February. Now we get the gap from two days ago. And the real question is, we, do we wait three more months for another gap? Another gap up? We might, you know. Because if this ever gaps down and leaves an island top, then you're going to get a correction. If we go to Dell... And this was wild because if, when they had that, Dell had their day with the founder of 
NVIDIA and Service Corp. Let me see Dell's chart, man. <laughs> Look at this thing. If we go back to just, uh, what am I going back to here? What, if you just go back to, oh my God, October of 2022, the stock was at 32. It's at 161, folks. 32 to 161. And the hunt is on, no doubt, in the whole marketplace for the aspect of, okay, what else, what other suppliers are going to be a recipient of the amount of cash that's going into AI? The Dell deal, I can see, because what had happened is that when they had that conference, the Jensen from NVIDIA was talking about that you're really not just buying a chip from Dell. He was pumping Dell up in a huge way. That you're buying a whole package, the whole shebang. And you needed the whole shebang in order to basically get done what companies want to get done. That's what it comes down to. Jacob was just telling me, listen to this. This is crazy. That one chip inside, no, no, not one chip, one box, one box goes to 176 degrees Fahrenheit when, uh, when it's running. It's like, oh, my God. I mean, you talk about cooling systems. Well, they need some cooling systems. They have the cooling systems, of course. But could you imagine that? I mean, that's about as intense as you get. 176? That's like, okay, how does this work, man? That's about as intense as you can get. So we'll see where the rest of it shakes out. A... AMD. Let's just go see what Advanced Micro is doing. So that's up six bucks. Yeah, this this is nothing like. This is actually trying to get in a lower range. Yeah, it actually was in the lower range. When it, when it broke, 164 went in the lower range. And I was just popping back inside the bigger range. Huh. Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 18. That's like up 176. S&P's up 35. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets.
TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down one NASDAQ is up uh, 173. S&Ps are up uh, 33. And pretty cool, we had one of our Tigers. We're actually at that uh, place. That maybe there's more than one, too. Um, out in Vegas. That must have been educational, man. There's no doubt. I would have loved, they, for what I just saw, the, the small part of it, uh, uh, it was, it was, Ed Lalo did an interview with all three of them. It was only like 15 minutes, and I really learned a lot um, in, a, in a big way. So, and it, what, uh, what Jimmy's talking about when the Tigers Den is that the amount of, uh, yeah, let me read this again, because this is the big deal when I just brought up the 176 degrees that he's saying, yeah, he's saying, okay, uh, the serious power and heat issues with the GPU chips, and so there were plenty of uh, liquid-cooled manufacturers illustrating servers and storage operating in bats of liquid, because that's, that's, that's what it takes. For some reason, I wonder why some reason liquid can cool quicker, right? Like they can get it down quicker or something. I'm, but uh, I'm sure that was quite an education, man. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. Because this is like, this, you know, this is a whole new deal. There's no two ways about it. And when you think about the aspect of the, um, so, so picture someone that's just doing this for a living, right? Could you imagine, like, you'd be, all day long on whatever AI you're using, right? In order to basically see what else it can do, right? Let's go to Jim in Palm Harbor. Hey, Jim, what's going on, brother? Tom, glad, glad to see you back healthy and you got your energy back, which is great. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, Feels good. <laughs> uh, I'm uh, one question. I don't know if you had callers stacked up behind me. I wanted to talk to you about a uh, platinum, and then also um, I caught the end of your real estate uh, phone call, and I actually have a contract where the guy died, the seller died, so I'm just sitting with it up here, and um, I'm debating whether to go forward to that. But I want to talk about platinum because the I'm really heavy in platinum. I wanted to sell some at 1100. Uh, we didn't get there. I've got I've got some cheap stuff thanks to the people in the den back in March of twenty. I bought some platinum at um, seven and a quarter. And nice. I'm gonna sell some of it off at eleven hundred. Okay. But I don't know what I, what to do with the money. Well, don't worry about that, man. <laughs> You'll find something to do with the money. <laughs> that's for sure. That, that's true because money markets are still paying five. That's so right. That's right. Four, four point nine six. Um, okay, so I, so I averaged I averaged down because I had some slabbed platinum U.S. Eagles that I paid you know fourteen, fifteen, sixteen hundred for. Okay, and I bought platinum at seven and a quarter, seven forty. Um, so do you, do you so have do you have platinum Eagles that you're going to sell? Uh, uh, I have some. Yes. Oh well, call me. I've got a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will do that. And, and call. I'll I'll buy I'll buy the. Now, now you got to remember something. If I'm buying them, I'm buying them because I think I can make money on them. Because I don't I don't think this is the time to sell. Just just so you know. But that okay. uh, you 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 made plenty. Well, you haven't made plenty. I I just want to bring that up. I'll definitely buy 
it, call me, okay, because between the, the slabs and the eagles, I'd buy them. I love platinum. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's a, it, it, platinum's a whole different, Wait. yeah, I like gold too, but I love platinum too, do you know what I mean, so. And okay. right now, so you like, just answered my you I just answered my question right there. <coughs> yeah. Uh, at some point, at what what was happening when I could buy platinum for you know like uh, uh, maple leaves, platinum maple leaves, or the Australian kangaroos? Instead of spending thirteen, fourteen hundred for the gold eagles, I bought I bought ten and ten lots of. Uh, yep. At, you know, at eleven hundred, twelve hundred, and platinum figured at some point in time it's going to reverse. And that was a smart and way of doing it. That was definitely a smart way of doing it. So what happens? This is what happens, folks. Okay, and both now this happens in the the platinum market, the gold market, and the silver market. Okay, is that the you don't what you don't want to do is pay monster premiums. And the premiums are high, okay? Because if you think that they're going to go up, what happens is that when they get up to good high prices, the premiums seem to go down pretty dramatically. <laughs> and then all of a sudden it's like, okay, you say to the dealer on the other side, now I'm talking about even wholesale, okay? Because when I'm, if I'm dealing a couple big deals, what happens is that everyone says, no, well, we're high enough now. I'm not going to give you the premium anymore. So I go, oh, really? <laughs> but that's what happens on the yep. other side of it. So it's, it was good that you bought some of the bars, too, because that's w when things get really high, the bars are always spot. You know what I mean? So you know where you are versus, but, and then this is particularly with platinum, because platinum can be have a huge, as silver, same thing, you know, premium on it. So... Yeah, if in the future, man, if, if you're selling them, just give me a buzz, though. So, uh, I, I will do that. And then I actually have a contract where the the seller died yeah. on January 3rd. So I was just still sitting on his contract, but they, they finally found heirs, and they've got an administrator named. And I was hoping to sell for 230 put 35 grand to it. And I, I am hesitating now in North Pinellas County to buy this because at 230 the the market – is dead. I mean, they're twenty. They're thousand square feet. They're built in the late seventies. Okay. Still has the shag carpet and, and the um, green appliances, but is, I'm hesitating now because I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can sell it fixed up for two twenty in this market. That's correct. Right. So let me ask you this: Is there another place that's close to it that you can comp it so you can really get yeah. to? Well, yeah, there's, a, there's actually one that's almost an identical condition for 209 that's been sitting for three months, hasn't moved. Just, and yeah. the problem is you cannot rent for the first two years of ownership. Don't so close is, it then. You know, yeah. if it's a single-family home, you gotta you can always rent it out until the market turns. Right. But you're talking about you better be you better be able to sell it because the carrying costs are a are thousand a month. And how how because how how many floors is the building? They're they're four. They're, they're quad, one car garages. So they're quad units. You don't have to worry about multi story. Uh, okay, the, good. Okay. The complex is fully reserved for paving and swimming pools. Oh, nice. That's huge. Buildings. That's that. You but knew where I was going with that. Okay, cool. Right, right. Hey, you know what you so, can do, man? This is what to do. Go back, go back to them, right? Show them this other unit, man, and say, listen, man. Here's another unit. It hasn't sold. It's not even worth two oh nine. I'll give you a buck eighty five for it, man. That's yep. what to do. That's what I, I've got to get a readjustment to the estate, and it, this might be one of the times you make the offer and you walk away from it. If they they'll, take they'll, it. Ta they'll take it because what happens, what happens in Florida, folks, is this: this is the estate market's a good market because what happens is that unfortunately people pass away, their children are not around here. They're, it seems like they're always fighting about money, but they just want to close and they want to split it. They don't. They don't. Thirty to forty thousand dollars on a. $200,000 deal isn't a big deal for the hair heirs. That's what I've found out in general. Do you know what I'm saying? Yep. They just and want, you know. If you own property out of state, you better have a will because this guy did not have a will. And, and it just is added an extra six Oh, well, you, get, you get another year then. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We'll talk. Okay, have man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Thanks. Thanks for Bye-bye. Okay.
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks, as we kick into the Memorial Day weekend. It's going to be a beautiful weekend, man, right across this great country of ours. So Dow's down 11, NASDAQ up 169, S&Ps are uh, up 31. We're going to kick into summer trading in a monster way now, coming back. And if we go look at the markets here, these are going to we're closing at all-time highs, man. Now, the, there's no doubt that the, the contraction of volume on the weeklies is big. There's no doubt. And I suspect that we are going to basically get down and test the other side of this deal. Oh, look at this. The SPY on the weekly is doing a doji. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. So you got a doji happening with a contraction. So with that, with that sets up, so picture this. The, the low, it, <laughs> I see. Yeah. The, the low from that bar from five weeks ago is 493. But do you know what can happen here, folks? is that we can get a small pullback and we'll just go to the high of the low, which is 515. That's, what that may, that may, that's exactly what may happen here. We'll see how this shakes out. Because what does happen, and this is what's going to be really wild, that, you know, we had from going back to March, you had one straight line move. So March 17th, the week of March 17th to the week of July 28th, 
of 2023 was a straight line move. Then we had a six, well, look at that. We had a six, oh, man, this is some strong market, man. We had a 0.618 retracement, and guess what, man? Normally, if you have a 0.618 retracement, you go to the high, but guess what? Well, what we did, we blew by the high, and then you had the next leg, and the next leg took you from 409 to, four, to 525. Listen, folks, thanks so much for being here. Have a great weekend, safe weekend. Be safe. Come back and visit us Tuesday morning, 9 a.m. Jacob and Tommy will be on. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Happy Memorial Day.